welcome back to my channel it's been a while so thank you if you've stuck around i'm sorry it's been so long since i've uploaded a video but i am back at it and with my first asos haul since september 2020 yes i've gone about nine months i think without ordering anything from asos but they had a 20 percent discount code recently and i just couldn't resist i needed some new work shoes spoiler alert they're the one thing that is going back from this haul um, but I thought I would just pick some bits up there were some bits that I've had my eye on for a while and I've got quite a big box of ASOS stuff I don't think I've ever ordered so much stuff from ASOS that has had to come in a box before so that just goes to show you how long it's been since I've ordered it but if you're new around here please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss an upload from me there's going to be a lot more content coming up on these channels including a Primark haul because I'm hitting Primark when it opens on Monday the 12th so there's going to be a Primark haul so you don't want to miss that but without further ado let's get into this massive ASOS box and how cool is this mug it's actually my mum's that I got for Mother's Day but she let me use it I'm just having a coffee so this is going to be a try and haul so I'll be showing clips of everything that's on, um, that it looks like on me and I will also be filming a reel so if you don't want to watch the whole of this video I will put my Instagram in the description below so you can just quickly see all of the items that I purchased but let's dive right into this box so the first item is the only accessory that I picked up and I wanted some new sunglasses I haven't bought sunglasses for quite a long time I tend to just buy some and they end up being the pair of sunglasses I always reach for but I wanted something a little bit different I've got a similar style pair of these that I got from Skinny Dip a few years ago but I kind of like how different these are and I don't really have any with gold frames so I got these really cool hexagon style sunglasses these were £10, they're ASOS design I will put all of the prices of everything that I paid full price for um, before the discount on screen so you kind of know but everything will be linked in the description below if you wanted to shop any of it but I actually really like these and they're quite simple but I, they are a little bit small for my face though that's the only thing but I have quite a big head so I wouldn't let that put you off but you get a little case for it as well which is cool but I really like those quite simple but they'll see, see me through spring and summer so the next item is this absolutely gorgeous dress that can we just appreciate the colour of this I think I saw being Brittany on Instagram her account um, she was wearing this and I loved how she styled it with like tights and, and boots and I just couldn't resist it's been in my saved for quite a long time and I feel like a smock dress you just can't go wrong with it and especially when it's polka dot it's just a win-win so this is what it's like it did look a little bit short when I got it out of the packet not gonna lie um, but I think it does look alright you'll see in the try on clips that I'll um, pair it with some tights and stuff I think I might be wearing this to a picnic I'm going to today as well so it'll be perfect uh, as just like a little throw on uh, you can even belt it I don't know if that will make it a bit too short for me though because I am quite tall but I just really like this really easy thing to chuck on and it, I know it's going to become a staple in my wardrobe uh, it will be perfect for like the warmer summer months when you can put like some cycling shorts underneath it and you're just going to like the beach or going for a picnic and stuff but I absolutely love this and it feels like super good quality and that was from the ASOS design um, range as well which I really like so the next item is another thing that I saw on Being Britney. Can you see that she's like kind of influ influenced part of my um, ASOS order? But again, it's colour. I'm trying to introduce a little bit more colour into my wardrobe. Um, I've kind of been sticking to a lot more neutrals as of late, and I just wanted to have. They're kind of like muted colours, so they're not really too much in your face. But I really like the 
like burnt orangeness of this and it is actually a really um oversized jumpsuit jumpsuit that's kind of sleeveless it's kind of like got a um keyhole cut out at the back when you've got the buttons this is asos design again i got this in the uk size 18 oh that's another thing that i need to say so i got this in a 18 as well but i would recommend sizing down on this because it is absolutely massive so i probably could have got away with a 16 if i wanted it a little bit more kind of tighter rather than looser but I'm not too sure on this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to style it right. But I love the way that Brittany had um, styled it on her Instagram. So you'll see in the try on clips if I've belted it or put a top underneath it. But it's quite an interesting um, piece to have in my wardrobe. I feel like it's going to be super comfy for summer months. Especially in the evening when you can like kind of layer it with... Um, kind of jumpers or t-shirts like long sleeve t-shirts when so it's a little bit warmer but we'll see about that that's a maybe so the next item is of course everyone's favorite pattern at the moment gingham i used to have a gingham skirt um, from asos but it was quite thick and it wasn't exactly the most flattering Thing to wear because it was so thick it was quite a rigid material so I sold that on my Depop and I saw this and I've seen quite a few people on Instagram wear it and style it quite well but it is just this gingham it's quite a thin material so it'll be quite good again for summer but you can also kind of style it for autumn thinking that far ahead but it's got two front pockets here and I just really like this, it's a midi skirt and I don't actually have a gingham midi skirt anymore obviously I just said I've um, sold it and I got this in a UK size 18 but it is quite elasticated so again I probably should, could have got away with a UK 16 but I just absolutely love this, this is going to be perfect with like little bodysuits or little, um, band t-shirts or kind of um, made a little bit more warm with slogan jumpers but gingham is such a fail safe when it comes to summer wardrobes it's such an easy way to add print into your wardrobe and i just absolutely love this and it's such a nice breathable material especially for the warmer months so that's a yes from me and speaking of things that we can pair with it i don't know if i necessarily pair this color with it but i am a massive lover of the kind of like seamless bodysuits I know a lot of people have the ones from Zara and I, is it misguided and pretty little thing that you sell them a lot but I picked mine up in Primark um, last year or was it a year before and they've just become a staple in my life but I didn't have kind of like a brown neutral one so I picked this one up this is from the band um, Florence or Flount no Flounce Clip Flounce Club and this is a new UK size 18. It is a little bit see-through and I did read on the reviews on ASOS that it was a little bit see-through but I'm only going to be really wearing it as kind of like a layer or kind of like as a base layer to add things on top of it. So and that's a good thing since when did ASOS start having reviews on their um, products because that's super helpful but I've never noticed it before. So. I actually had a lot more things in my basket but upon reading the reviews I re kind of made the decision not to order some of them because a lot of them weren't very good reviews but, they, but all the items that I have ended up um, ordering had quite good reviews so this is a Fong styled um, bodysuit but I will just be wearing this with a bra and everything um, but yeah I, I quite like this, quite like the colour I know brown isn't everyone's favorite color at the moment when it comes to kind of fashion stuff but i quite like it it's quite an easy way to add a bit of a different color other than like black or white to your outfits and i feel like it goes with quite a lot of stuff anyway so that's all good for me just gonna have another coffee break and if anyone's wondering this um top that I'm wearing is actually a maxi dress from ASOS but it's originally monkey I got this last year and it's just such an easy like t-shirt dress to throw on and 
yeah I like it I like the colour as well and it's something that I always end up reaching for especially in spring and summer because it is such an easy like thing to throw on it's got splits on both of the legs so it's kind of like quite blowy and um, breezy <sighs> it's been so long since I've done a haul which I say every time because I do leave it so long but I forget how much I like doing them so I can't wait to do my Primark haul as well. I reckon this will be going up after the Primark haul because I'm hoping to film that the day that I go to Primark and upload it on the same day so people know what's in store. But on the brown trend and going back to the ASOS haul, I picked up these brown kind of shirt um, style culottes. I absolutely why am i going so dark and um, like the sun is having a mind of its own yeah so i got these brown culottes i absolutely live in culottes when it comes to spring and summer they're such an easy thing if you don't want to wear a skirt and you kind of want to be a bit more practical these are the perfect thing to wear with t-shirts body suits anything you name it these are perfect so i got these ones they're kind of elasticated at the top these are in a uk size 18 again they're super stretchy super comfy and i just can't wait to get so much wear out of these i know these are just going to be perfect and again it's brown i don't have a lot of brown in my wardrobe at the moment so i kind of wanted to add some wearable key pieces into my wardrobe to kind of introduce that in to my style and stuff and I just feel like a brown bodysuit and a brown pair of culottes is just the perfect way of introducing it. So the last item and the one that I said was a bit of a spoiler at the start is my new work shoes that I have decided will be going back. So let me just get one of them out. I'm not going to get both of them out because they have been wrapped up quite neatly. So I work at a reception in a hospital and I needed some quite smart shoes to wear with my dresses and stuff and the last pair of ones I wear I got from ASOS about four years ago and they have worn so well and these are the most similar style that I could find to the previous ones I bought because they no longer sell them so these are just some brown tan brogues with a black sole but they are just so uncomfortable. I got these in the UK size 8 and I probably should have got them in a 7. But I was going by the size of what I used to order. The ones that I um, ordered before. And these have got a hard sole so they make too much noise which I don't like. And they are just so uncomfortable and I don't think they are going to get any more comfortable over time. These were £25 full price which I don't think is too bad for a decent pair of shoes but they just weren't what I was expecting so they are going back and I will have to continue my hunt for some new shoes. I think I might end up going to either Debenhams or Hope and Primark will have a cheap pair that I can wear because my other ones have literally got holes in them so I can't really wear them any longer. But yeah, I might end up going to Clark's as well because I'm just going to probably end up buying a pair that is going to last me another four years and that are going to be worth the money so yeah that was all of the items that i got from asos that's an empty box right there i hope you enjoyed this uh, let me know if any of the items were your favorite in this haul or if you've done a haul lately from asos link it down below i'd love to watch it but thank you so much for watching i hope everyone is okay and i shall see you next time Bye.